22nd of March 2006. The tables were ready for the delegates as they come in droves to register. Delegates from all over India and the world, all ready to participate in Frames 2006, an annual event organized by the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry, FIKI, the only one of its kind, where business meets entertainment. Over the last seven years, FIKI Frames has grown into a major event and since 2000, almost every important leader, national and international from the media, advertising and entertainment industry come together year on year to exchange ideas on the unique platform provided by Fiki Frames. The three-day annual convention frames 2006 based on the theme where business meets entertainment began by the lighting of the lamp by well-known actress Vidya Balan along with UK Secretary Department of Culture Media Ms. Tessa Jowell, Hollywood-based producer Ashok Amritraj, President of Fiki Saroj Poddar, Information and Broadcasting Secretary Mr. S.K. Arora and the Chairman of the Fiki Entertainment Committee Mr. Yash Chopra. The keynote addressee was delivered by President and CEO of Viacom Tom Preston who dwelt upon the start of something new. It's probably the uh, wildest, most open, most vital media market in the world today. There's more happening here on every level than you'd find in almost any other country. I guarantee you that. FIKI is uh, an incredibly important platform, not just for the Indian film industry, but uh, for, for the global film industry. The FIKI Pricewaterhouse report on the growth of India's entertainment industry with sectoral analysis was also released. The FIKI Amarchan Mangaldas report of Indian entertainment industry was also presented. A business booth with individual units equipped with tables, chairs and audiovisual equipments had been set up to facilitate one-to-one -one business meetings. This endeavour was to create partnerships and meaningful interactions. Indo-British cultural links have deepened during the past year and Indian films accounted for 16% of all film releases in the UK last year. This was the focus of discussion by an eminent panel from the UK and India. British filmmaking, British producers come to India, make more films here, um, make more stories that have an Indian element, and exactly the reverse will happen, that the Indian film producers will realise and come to the UK on an even more frequent basis and include Britain in their stories. Almost every session was designed to concentrate on the business side of entertainment. Some of the key sessions included cinema exhibition business in India, independent filmmaker versus studio, financing the Indian entertainment industry and managing an international icon brand. For all participants, Frame was seen as an excellent platform to understand the Indian entertainment industry. Mr. Ken Chaplin spoke on understanding the strengths and weaknesses of international icon brands and personalities. He also developed new strategies in Asia to market a brand's heritage. Fiki Frames came in for a special mention. I think anyone that wants to do business in, in India, and especially in this industry, multinational companies, when they look to come to markets such as India or China or other emerging uh, markets look to a joint venture as probably the easiest, quickest way to get into the market and that's exactly what we did. Over the years, Fiki Frames has supported the growth of India's animation industry. David Sproxton's of UK's leading animation company, Ardman Animation, took the delegates through a case study from pre-production to post-production of a successful animation project. I think India is in a very interesting state particularly on the animation side, I think you know, the, the growth in IT and its ability to embrace what is very highly technical uh, systems, I think has been fantastic. Um, I think you know, the film industry, however you look at it, is all about storytelling and I think it's dangerous to lose sight of that. There's a lot of stuff talked about business, there's always stuff about money, distribution, technology. At the heart of it, you're telling stories to people. The evening was designed as a tribute 
to the entertainment quotient of the Indian film industry. Two film veterans, Dharmendra and Dr. Vijanti Mala Bali, were honored as living legends in the entertainment industry. Both were present to personally receive the accolades. Awards for Yash Chopra and Shah Rukh Khan for Main Huna were also announced. Technology in various arenas, whether it is content, distribution or expansion of business has just begun to find their space in India. And there is still a lot that has to be done to ensure that they shape well and help in the overall media growth. The changes in technology offers new challenges. Digital distribution of content provides unprecedented opportunities to reach consumers of Indian content in markets, which are non-traditional clusters. These were discussed threadbare by the stakeholders. The entertainment industry is going to provide phenomenal content, which is going to be critical on all the digital platforms that we are creating and providing. So there's great synergy. I see this as being good prospects for the future. All those effects which are special now will become mundane within a year. Now, <laughs> So we just call them effects. Now, we don't have to say special anymore because things are changing so rapidly that you have stack-ons, add-ons. and So what we're trying to do is use the technology to the best of our capabilities. And that's what we're trying to do. Bollywood, to do to the content industry what uh, India has done for the IT industry, become the uh, digital content production outsourcing hub of the world. And in an animated session, Karan Johar and Ashok Amritraj bantered bitterly about Amritraj's Hollywood experience. Tell us the one memorable moment you've had in the last 20, 25 years that you've been there, the one high, the one big moment that will always be a big part of your memories. I think the turning point in my life was probably in 1991 uh, when I made Double Attack and when people who had uh, thrown away my phone messages suddenly found it two years later and decided they wanted to give me a call back. With emerging convergence paradigm where the boundaries between tech and media companies are getting increasingly blurred, entertainment anytime, anywhere is the new mantra. A similar situation is inevitable in India. Digital technology is driving the development of new types of content. A variety of media distribution options and innovative digital devices, all of which point to the emergence of a new digital entertainment industry. As I believe that today a passive viewer is going to turn into active viewer. They will want to watch the content of their choice at the time what they want to watch, at the place what they want to watch. India has a robust film industry, but apart from a traditional market overseas, India's film industry has not been able to penetrate mainstream US market. A session designed to find successful formula for crossover films were discussed. From taking Indian movies out, we, we really hope that we can make a movie or two each year. And that, uh, it, and that the successful movies will have an ability to, to, uh, to travel outside of India, certainly to the Indian market in the United States and in the UK, and in great success to other countries of the world. The creative market, uh, and it's a market that uh, really is, is driven, unlike uh, any other in the world, by this insatiable consumer appetite for, for content. So from that standpoint, it's a uh, you know, media company's delight. And for being a part of Fiki Best Animated Frames Awards 2006. The Fiki Best Animated Frames Award were instituted two years back. A jury selected the winners from entries that came from across the world and India. A glittering ceremony held on the second evening was attended by a distinguished gathering when the award winners were recognized for their creative efforts. Day 3 began with a lively address by filmmaker Vidhu Vinod Chopra, who shared his journey of filmmaking and believed in a good storyline always wins. Content from filmmakers particularly should carry some social responsibility. It has to be entertaining like Munna Bhai is and Ekla Vyadar Oil Guard, my other film, both films are. 
But apart from being entertaining, it, they are both films that are socially conscious. They are not movies. I've never made a film where I am not aware of the fact that I'm going to influence people's lives. Later, filmmakers like Rakesh Mehra and Siddharth Anand made their presence felt amongst the renowned personalities with their presentation on Made in India, Made for a Young India. Mobile entertainment, with its ability to dissect boundaries of time and space, will soon be a big revenue driver for mobile operators, device manufacturers and media and content owners. And mobile phone penetration, as you know, in India is growing at 4 million subscribers a month. Those are numbers that are very attractive and I think it's a much faster to deploy delivering content over mobile for a device than it is to deliver over a fixed network. The closing session of this biggest convention of the business of entertainment was by Yash Chopra and Preeti Zinta. Very happy to have friends from Pakistan. They spoke on Indian film industry's role in Indo-Pak cultural exchanges. Business of Indian films overseas is going great. Some of the films are doing better business in overseas than in India. We export our culture wonderfully. People actually look forward to our films because there's, there's so many beautiful things in it. But we also need partners, we also need people around the world who can support the infrastructure, who can help us distribute these films, who can do tie-ups with these films. So a convention like Fiki Frames is something which would give that platform to both the parties to meet together and to do business together. Fiki 2006, the three days of air ended with splendor and a promise to be back again with a new theme for discussions on the future of media. Fiki Frames 2007 from 26 to 28 March 2007 in Mumbai. Block your diaries.